Okay, in this video we are going to solve a couple of mixture problems. A lot of people are very afraid of mixture problems. Um, so let's start off with an example. So we want to know how much of a 5% saline solution must be added to 5 gallons of a 20% saline solution to make a 14% saline solution. Um, so we're, we're kind of trying to dilute the saline solution. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with just kind of a picture of uh, three tubs of saline. So they're going to look like rectangles because I'm not very artistic. So um, let's let this first one here be the 5% solution. Um, so we don't know how much of that we actually have to add. Um, the second one's going to be a 20% solution. And then we're going to mix those together in this third jug and that's going to give us a 14% solution. Um, so we're mixing things together, which is what makes these mixture problems. And what I like to do is I like to draw the picture, and then I like to be really organized underneath it. So uh, I'm going to reiterate our percents. Uh, we have to add together. And I'm going to get 5% and then 20%. And then ultimately I want to end up with 14%. And um, now I'm going to think about how much of each I have. Well, I don't know how much 5% I have, so I'm going to call that X gallons. 20% um, I already have 5 gallons. So when I dump all of those together, I'm going to end up with x plus 5 gallons. And now I just need to kind of pull an equation out of this scenario. So if I take 5% and multiply by x, so that's 5 over 100 times x, and I add to that 20 over 100 times 5, so that's 20% of 5, I need that to equal 14%, so 14 over 100, of uh, x plus 5 gallons. And so that's my equation. And the easiest thing to do at this point is to actually multiply through by 100 to clear it out. Um, so I get 5x plus, uh, plus 100, and then equals 14 times the quantity x plus 5. And from here, I just want to solve. So I'm going to distribute. I'm also going to change to a different color. Um, distribute on the right-hand side. So I get 5x plus 100 equals 14x plus 70. And I want to move everything with an x to one side, everything without an x to the other side. So I get 30 equals 9x, which tells me that um, 10 thirds is equal to x, or uh, 30 over 9, but you reduce down to 10 thirds. And then I want to make sure that I really answer the question. So the answer to this question is that I want to add 10 thirds gallons of 5% solution. If I add that to 5 gallons of 20% solution, I end up with 14% saline solution. Um, and that's how you answer the question. So let's take a look at another one, which is uh, almost the same question, but kind of feels different because it's a different context. And that's something you have to get used to. So uh, I have almonds cost $10 per pound. Pistachios cost $18 per pound. How many pounds of pistachios must be added to six pounds of almonds to make a blend that costs $15 per pound? Um, so it's basically the same question, so I'm going to start in exactly the same way. I'm going to draw a picture. So I got three things. So one of them is going to be um, almonds, one's going to be pistachios, and then one's going to be my mixture. And I have to add the almonds and pistachios together to get my mixture. So we got almonds here, we got pistachios here, and then overall we got our mixture here. And then we're just going to be really organized about it, so we're going to write down how much everything costs per pound. So almonds are going to be $10 per pound, um, pistachios are going to be $18 per pound, and then our mixture overall, our goal is to get it to be $15 per pound. And now I need to know how much of each thing I have. So almonds uh, are what I'm at, uh, nope, actually I have six pounds of those. And then pistachios are what I'm adding, so I don't know how many of those I have, so I'm just going to call it X. And then the mixture ultimately will have 6 plus X. And as long as you can organize yourself like this, you can answer these problems with, with no, no issues. So it's going to be, let's just write our equation now. So it's $10 per pound times 6 pounds plus $18 per pound times X pounds equals $15 per pound times 6 plus X pounds. Um, so if I work this out, this will tell me how much I need to add. So let's do the math. 60 plus 18x is 90 plus 15x. And then everything with an x on one side, everything without on the other, gives me 3x equals 30. So x is 10. And then go back and make sure that you actually answered the question. So to answer this question, I want to add uh, 10 pounds of pistachios. 
And if I do that, I will get a mixture that costs $15 per pound. So that's how you can handle mixture problems. Uh, you just got to be really organized about it. I find the picture is very helpful. Um, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.